Ireland should be more supported. Yeah. I support League of Ireland and we go down every week, me and my son every week. Um, I was brought up in Birmingham, hence I support Aston Villa. But I have to be honest, I think it's sad that people cannot support League of Ireland, but they have to support Premiership clubs. Action, tight one. <laughs> <laughs> the, the stadium is pretty much full, but it's mostly Aston Villa fans, not just English as yourself, but there's Irish ones as well. What do you think of that? Yeah, it's a good mix. Nice. nice. It's good. It's working well. To be fair. Nice really atmosphere good. as well today. Do you support your local team in Northern Ireland at all? Um, no, unfortunately not. There's a few ones in the club, with, but I'm just basically Aston Villa. That'll be it. And why, why, why wouldn't you support your local team? Or is there something that they could do that would make you go and watch their games? Um, well, to be honest, it's just Aston Villa. Um, just, I think it's not a great standard of football. I've never really got into the Irish League. What do you think of people in Dublin not supporting their local club? But actually uh, well, if they want to support the Villa, well, then all for the good. They're obviously not a good thing. <laughs> I have no interest in local football at all. And why, why, why would that be? Okay. I'm a one club kind of guy, you know. Aston Villa 3 and 3. Also, the, the, the papers, I mean, unfortunately, we're, we're governed by English media. I mean, if you, the, the, the biggest selling papers in this country is like the Sun, the Star, or, or what I call gutter journalism. And it's all about English football, it's not about Irish football. So, there's my answer. I mean, you know, you, you pick a back page up of a paper, and it's the young people that are influenced by that. Roy Keane got it right years ago when he was on about prawn, uh, the prawn cracker brigade. And unfortunately, you know, there's more prawn cracker people that they you know, support Man United and, and, and don't, they couldn't even name the first 11. Yeah, it's true. You can name the Villa's first 11. I can name the Villa's first 11. I can't you... name the Bows. <laughs> uh, even one of their players, to be honest with you. Is, is there something that, that your local club, like let's say Longford Town, could do to encourage you to go to their games all the time? Yeah, win. <laughs> Just to be honest with you, win. Uh, I don't think they've actually done that great this year. How did you get into supporting Villa? Um, I started supporting them, sort of on Paul McGrath. I started playing, I was only 8 or 9, but 1988-89. Um, Paul McGrath moved and I just started liking football and it took a shine into them. Um, Paul McGrath and Nigel Spink was the goalkeeper before. Um, so it's basically just from that and I've stuck, stuck with them, stuck in thin. What do you think of today's game? I expected a, a bit more. But I mean, it's second more. half now, a lot more. Come from a Premiership side, they get paid a lot more. They should be kind of making better decisions. Are we going to win the league, Emma? Yeah, He's I, a yeah. FA Cup, Carling Cup, and we might as well have to take well, the European we're as well. We're to lose one match, so we're giving it away now, and yeah. then we've got a clear run to do it. That's it, yeah.